Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the midweek technical analysis. Hey, man, it's a wrap. It's a wrap for it. Uh, everything that um, I was looking at in the beginning of the week, my analysis as far as my bias on which way I think the market was going to be um, going in this week, um, everything has played out to the T. Um, so if you will bring your attention to the dollar index, DXY, um, I told you guys Monday, well, yeah, in the pre-week analysis for Monday, but I think it was, was it Sunday that I uploaded that? I had to go back and look. I think it was Sunday, though. Um, I did the pre-week analysis, right? And I told you guys that I did not want to see price break above or close above this um daily fair value gap, right? I told you guys that I expected to see price roll over and retest this monthly buy side liquidity, right? And feel in this imbalance in the midst of doing that, right? And that's exactly what we got. Price did not break and close above the um, daily fair value gap, right? Monday, Tuesday was a down day. And today, price just rolled on over and gave us that retest of that monthly buy side liquidity in the field of this imbalance that we had in price here from this week down to the high of this week. There was still imbalance there, right? An area where price hasn't revisited yet, and filled in, right? That's what imbalance is. So that's what we was looking for, and that's exactly what we got. Um, You can see the trades that I dropped in the private um, group. Um, I share some of them on social media too. Um, entries that I took, profits that I um, made um, in the markets this week based off the analysis that I gave you guys Sunday evening. So with that being said, let's look at our currency pairs, euro, pound, and New Zealand. Of course, we know that if I was bearish for the dollar, for the beginning of the trading week, we know that I was what for currency. Of course, bullish because currencies push in the opposite direction that the dollar pushing. So, if we're bearish, one we're gonna be the opposite the other. Um, so we was I was bullish for euro this week. I wanted to see us take out this swing high as a TP one, right? Well, really, this swing high as a TP1, and then this swing high as a TP2, right? And um, I I really would like to see us close the week taking out this swing high too, right? Um, And then open up the week, sell off next week, sell back down into this breaker block, right? Which looks like it's about half of this candle, of this imbalance. Right, and not well, about as so. I would like to see us close the week running this, leaving this high intact, that high intact, right? Or maybe it might get bullish, real bullish, and run that right and leave these PD arrays intact for euro. And then next, we open up sell back off down to about midpoint of this, um, fair value gap, right and um, continue higher. So we'll see how all that plays out. All I know is for this week, um, if you were um, bullish as I was this week for Euro USD, then it was a good week for you. Overall, um, just today's price action has given you 65 pills. Um, total this week, um, Euro has given out about 100 and almost 120 pills. You can't beat that with a bat. Not not one bit, not one bit. So that being said, moving on to the pound, um, same thing, told you guys that I wanted to see this taken out, uh, TP1, T2, 
TP2. And let's see if we can close the week TP3 here, leaving this monthly buy side intact for us to come back and get next week or at a later time, later date or later time. Cool beans? Cool beans. And same thing for NZD USD. Told you guys, I really wanted to see price pull back down into this uh, breaker block right here, right down to this imbalance. But it just pulled down to the low of the uh, pink shaded area. Fair value gap. That's what that is. Uh, weekly fair value gap, right? And then we continue higher. Um, the pips that NZD has given out this week is um, 132 pips. Can't beat it with a bat. Can't beat it with a bat. So with that being said, moving on to uh, last but not least, our futures um, pairs that we trade, ES and ENQ. I told you guys that um, I wanted to see price respect these PD arrays and continue higher. And that's what we got. We did not see price break and close below these PD arrays and price continue higher to um, run the all-time high for ES and create a new all-time high today. So that's exactly what we was looking for out of futures. Uh, same thing with uh, NQ. Uh, wanted to see us run this these two PD arrays, right, from Monday. We was here Monday, right? Didn't want to see price break and close back below these PD arrays here, right? And we wanted to see price run up into these PD arrays, break and close above them, and run the all-time high. Go back and watch the tape. That's exactly what I called for. And that's exactly what we see on the chart today as of Wednesday, May the 15th, 2024, at 7.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right on the money, Jack. So with that being said, um, I really don't have much, I mean, I know some of you Thundercats probably, you know, still going to trade even if you done made your um, goal this week. You know, you're still going to be out there in the market streets. Um, all I can say is make sure you got your strap in your hand and make sure, you know, um, you keep your risk management in place. Um, be safe out there. Um, don't chase. If you miss your entry, you just miss, you just miss it. You just miss it. Um, don't chase. Don't form O in. Um, don't be greedy. Take your TP when um you're supposed to take your TP, you know. And uh, yeah, man, happy trading, y'all. Um, I'm still um, I'm still um uh, accumulating dog coin. If you haven't checked out dog coin yet, go to dog go to the moon dot io that's dog go to the moon dot i o okay go check it out read up on it do your due diligence and then go and check out my uh, youtube tutorial on, on how to create a crypto wallet how to secure it and fund it and how to purchase ordinals in the dog token watch it it's only an hour long it'll walk you through step by step how to get your crypto wallet set up how to um, buy and purchase and trade the dog coin so if you're truly interested in that then you will make your way over to the youtube channel to watch that tutorial so with that being said ladies and gentlemen um that will conclude the midweek technical analysis. Um, if these analyses add any value to your lives whatsoever, um, please feel free to like, share, and most of all, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It really helps out a lot. Uh, if you're interested in joining the private Telegram group, visit PrecisionPipsLLC.com and sign up for the silver package. Um, so I appreciate you guys, ladies, 
for coming out tonight, tuning in and getting this knowledge <clears throat> and empowering yourselves. Let your family and friends know you love them while they're still here, please. And as always, peace and love, everybody. You know. <laughs>